So we're gonna make a quick video update of some mistakes in my previous videos and some clarifications about the Titan solar generator, the R600 by EcoFlow, and of course the AC200, which a lot of people wanna know more about. So first, with the AC200, I made a mistake in my video, and I said that the max input voltage for the solar array is 145 volts. And I was mistaken, it's actually 150 volts. I do not know why I made this mistake, I read the manual 100, times but I stated it was 145. Next, with the AC200, they're using NMC cells, and some of my viewers were like, why aren't they using lithium iron phosphate, which is my personal favorite. In this instance, they are using automotive grade cells that are UL listed and safety certified and rated to 2,500 charge cycles. Lithium iron phosphate is rated for 3,000 to 5,000 charge cycles. So in this instance, I don't think it's gonna make that big of a difference. NMC is actually maturing as a technology Technology. I think it's because we have so many electric vehicles and there's a lot of research going on. So these NMC variants, the charge cycle life has been increasing over the last couple of years. But this is not true in other solar generator models. So with the EcoFlow, it's only rated to like 600 or 800. The Goal Zero, I think it's 500 or 600. So yeah, this is a huge difference. We are using a high specific energy chemistry and we have 2,500 cycles or more. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. And if you keep the AC200 in a relatively cool environment, you could probably get around 3000 or more cycles. So I think this will be a very long-term use system. I'm expecting it to last for about seven years. If you take really good care of it, I would expect 10 years. And that's cycling it every single day, which is pretty impressive. Next, I forgot to mention with the AC200 that you can charge with a 12 volt battery or alternator or a 24 volt battery or alternator. So if you're a trucker and you have a 24 volt alternator or you're a marine application use case, you can actually charge it with a 24 volt alternator, no problem. And it actually has a low voltage protection device. So if your batteries get too low or 11.5 volts, it will disconnect the charging, which is great. Also, there are two 50 15 watt wireless charging pads on top of the AC200. Totally forgot to mention that as well. So I should have mentioned this in the video, but there's lots of features on that thing. Um, and I'm sure there's other ones that I'm missing. I actually have 600 watts connected right now, and we are pulling the same amount as my more expensive MPPT solar charge controllers. So the tracking algorithm on that is working really nicely, unlike other solar generators, specifically the Goal Zero MPPT add-on. I could not pull that much power with it, but with the new Blue Eddy AC200, it works perfectly. The next update has to do with the Titan solar generator. I could only pull 2,200 watts from their inverter continuously, and they ensured me that I had a faulty unit. And this happens all the time. All of these companies send out products for review, and I always have the worst bad luck and get the faulty units. So they had 15 units in that batch that were faulty, and there was a resistor spec that was off in the over temperature circuit of the inverter. And so Point Zero Energy is actually repairing all of those units and I'm going to get a new one to test so I'm going to post a new video about that and it amazes me how many companies send me out products that they do not test. Um, Point Zero Energy ensured me that this will never happen again and the batch that they did send out they're bringing them back for repairs so if you did have one I would test it anyways just to be on the safe side and this is for all products whether they're good or bad in my reviews. You should test everything on your own to make sure it's working as advertised. Which leads me to the next problem. So this is the R600 by EcoFlow Max. And this is a pre-production model and this is the one with the upgraded firmware. And I'm still having problems with it. So my viewers wanted an update. So check this out. You turn on the on button, it turns on for a second, and we still have the overload. So nothing has changed. It keeps shutting itself down and I don't know what to do with this. It's a dead unit. But they are gonna send me out the R600 Pro when it's actually ready. I really don't think any company should do pre-sales anymore for solar products because when you get these pre-production models, they have just too many issues, except for the Blue Eddy. There's one spelling error, but everything works as advertised. I mean, if it's pre-production and those PCBs are spec'd for continuous discharge ratings, it should be able to pull it. 
and time and time again for multiple products they don't also i would never trust any new product the only reason i'm starting to recommend the titan on my website is because people have run it 24 hours a day seven days a week for six months without any problems and they've also tested 3000 watts and they can pull that full load continuously so it's unfortunate that my testing in my batch was bad but I will not recommend something until it's working for like six months nonstop. And even though the Bluetti AC200 has everything that we want, it is still a very new product. And I want you guys to understand that after we're done testing it and after people have had it for about six months, then you can with full confidence buy it. I still have not been able to kill any of my Blue Eddies though. I have done over voltage, over current on the PV input. Um, I've run the inverters continuously for 24 seven for months with the solar shed before I had my large system in there. So they're very dependable, but it's hard for me to say if they'll be dependable for everybody. So yeah, take all of these reviews with a grain of salt. Sometimes I get a bad batch or something and I'm surprised these companies don't catch it. And also these are all sponsored videos because I get the product for free and I'm gonna start charging these companies because after I dealt with this EcoFlow Max, I spent like a week and a half of working all day on this and then editing the video and filming. So I'm not gonna do that again. I'm gonna start charging them. And whether I get money or products for videos, I will always show you guys unbiased reviews with test results. It's impossible for me to fake a test result and I want you guys to have the most accurate, honest information on the internet. And that's why half of my videos fail is because all of these products seem to have problems with them. If they did their job and all these products worked, I would be out of work. So I guess it's a good thing and a bad thing, but man, it is so frustrating when I work for a week or more. Um, I'm not gonna be on any contracts and if I accept money for these videos, it will be just for my time for making the video because I can't do that again. I lost motivation after this. This was so painful for me. Anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. Thank you for watching the update and bye.